how do you remove blemishes, fine lines, and wrinkles in Canva? If you promise to use these powers for good and not evil, I will show you how to do that. My name is Michelle and I release weekly videos on marketing, websites, and all things design. So if you do find this information helpful, please give this video a like, it really helps me out. Before we get started though, we need to set some expectations. Whenever I'm doing any kind of photo editing, Adobe Photoshop is really my go-to tool. It's pretty powerful, you can get really great results. However, I know that not everybody pays for Adobe Photoshop, nor do they know how to use it. So if you need a tool to refine some of those blemishes and wrinkles that may not be to your liking, Canva, which is a free tool, can do that for you. So let's dive in and take a look on how I would do that. To get started, I have opened a document. There's nothing special about the way I created this document. It just has three different pictures in it. And these photos are actually from the stock photo gallery that Canva has. So in this first image, we can see that there is a young girl. She's got a few blemishes on her face. The second image, we have a bit more of a mature woman who's got maybe a few more lines than she, what she's comfortable with. And then in this third one, this is going to be an example of how this solution might not work for you if you do have a super close-up shot and you can see skin texture because the technique I'm going to show you isn't going to really work well if you can see the texture of the skin. So we're going to get started. We're going to do the blemishes first. So the first thing I need to do is click on the photo and then I need to click edit image. And if you look in your tools, you should have one that says blur. If you don't have one, just go up to the very top and you can type blur and it will make sure that it is found for you. So let's select this blur tool. So I've got an auto adjustment and then I've got my blur tool and my restore tool. So if I wanna undo anything I did, I can always use this restore tool. I'm gonna start off by clicking this blur tool and I might zoom in on my photo just a bit so that we can see a little bit more of what we're working with. Okay, so you have three items. You have intensity, spread, and the brush size. I'm probably gonna pull this intensity down. I'm gonna start off with 10, and then I don't want the spread to be too much. I'm gonna try 20. Again, these numbers, they're completely up to you. You can play with these numbers to get the intensity or you know area coverage that you want. And then the brush size, we can see that's a little big for what we wanna use this for. So I'm gonna pull down I kind of just want to be big enough to surround the blemish because what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently just pull and drag. You can see that there's a pink highlight area. And what it's going to start to do is really blur out the blemish. And you're going to need to keep doing it and playing sort of with your numbers to get the effect that you like. So we're going to keep on doing this. Let's try and see what it looks like with another. So we're starting to really, we might pull up the spread here just a bit, see if that works. I will say that there is a bit of a delay when you're using these tools. The, it seems that like the mouse doesn't quite follow along with things really well, so. Let's bump this intensity up and see if that makes a difference. There we go. So maybe the, a, a bit of a higher intensity is what we wanna go for because that's starting to look pretty good. Let's go up here and see if we can make these minimalized. Really, that's all we're doing. If we could see a lot of her skin texture it would start to look unbelievable in a way where it was like, it's not gonna be a natural look. So you really do need to be careful when you're playing with this. But, you know, I understand I have skin issues too. And a lot of times it's it's so embarrassing to try and take a photo and, and post it online. So if there's little things that you need to fix, Canva can do this. Okay. 
So we're starting to get, I think that's pretty good. Are they 100% gone? Not exactly, but we could keep refining this and seeing if we could get it to a place that we like. I would say if anything, her chin is still a little bit red. So if we could, maybe we'll just pull that a little bit more. And that's a little bit better because if I zoom out, or at least, again, the mouse is being a little weird when you're in this tool. So you might experience that. I'm gonna click done. We'll zoom out of our picture and we can see that that looks pretty good. So if I wanted to compare it, let me just add back in the picture that was the original. You can see that from where we started to where we ended up, that's pretty good. So if you've got really minor blemishes and spots that aren't too discolored, this is a technique that could work for you. Now you could do the same thing. Again, let's duplicate this picture so that we have the original. We could do the same technique if we wanted to. I would go into edit image again. We'll click our blur tool. I'll choose the blur tool again, and then we're gonna zoom in so that we can see what we're working with. And so let's say that maybe some of the cheek areas we wanted to refine. Let's just see what this does. So that starts to really soften things. Now you can see that there is a lot of texture and sort of color spots in her skin. So if we blur them out too much, it might not look super believable. So this is really where you gotta be careful with how much you're doing because it might get to a place where it looks completely fake. So this would be just a way to soften some of those lines. I do wanna show you, there is another tool that they have in beta mode. So here is just a couple of softenings of those wrinkles. Let's hit done. And we can see sort of what we did versus where we started. So there were a lot more harsh lines there, but you can kind of soften them up. Now there is a new tool, like I just said, that I wanna show you. So if we click out of the blur, I'm gonna click the X there to remove that search field. There is something called face retouch. It says it's in beta. So if I click on this guy and hit apply, you could also do the same thing by searching for the face retouch tool. Okay, so I've clicked the face retouch. It's taking a moment to load. Okay, now that it's finally loaded, they have a few options. So there's a red eye feature where you could remove red eyes, you could whiten your teeth, and then this one is smooth out the skin. Again, be careful with this because the more intense we go, so if I were to just really bump this up, even if I went to 100, it's starting to look more like a painting than it does actual skin texture. So if you can see sort of where we started. This is the one that we actually softened a bit, um, but you can see that there's a lot of different, you know, variation in color in the skin, where as we go up here and everything kind of just feels, it might feel a little too plastic. So this is another thing that you could try. Again, this is in beta, so I, I feel like there's still some glitchiness that happens with it. Uh, you know, try it out, see what you think, and uh, let me know if you like it. So if you were happy with this, you could always just click the apply, and then we've got a bit more smoother skin to work with. The other thing I'll say about the blur tool though, is actually really kind of nice. Like if you wanted to achieve this effect, like if you have a photo where you wanted to blur some of the areas out, you can actually take your little cursor tool and you could paint over just the areas you wanted blurry so that you could achieve a photo that looked like just like this. So our last photo, if we scroll down, again, I will duplicate it so we can have a reference point of where we started. This is going to be more so of an example where it doesn't really work. So if you're doing something that's super close up, you might not like the look of it. So I'm gonna click the blur tool and then we're going to just, we'll just get started with this. So right away, we can just see that all of that skin texture is lost. 
And if we're just like painting a big area, it, it really, you can tell that the photo has just been blurred. So it doesn't actually achieve a great look. I don't know if it would really achieve a great look if we blurred all areas of the skin because then it just gets to a point where it doesn't really look realistic. It just looks like a blurry photo. So take note, understand that Canva is not going to get rid of everything. This really would be a job for Adobe Photoshop. And even if you want to see how I might do something to fix these photos in Adobe Photoshop, let me know in the comments and I can definitely show you how I would achieve refining those blemishes and wrinkles in a different program. So I'm going to hit done and we'll hit apply here. So we can see where we started, where we ended up. Not the most realistic thing on the planet, but I will say if any of them were considered a success, I would call the blemishes one. It's a pretty good strategy if you need to just edit something small. It's not gonna do all the heavy lifting for you, but it might make you feel a little bit more confident about your photos. Let me know what you think and if this is something you're gonna try. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please give my video a like. It really helps me out and subscribing doesn't hurt either. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.